Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have an us-against-the-world attitude and are addicted to drama, a royal expert has said. According to author and ex-Vanity Fair editor Tina Brown, Harry believes he can save Meghan in a way he couldn't save his mother. And Ms. Brown, who releases her new book The Palace Papers next month, notes that the dynamic of their marriage is different to that of Harry's brother and sister-in-law the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. In an interview with The Telegraph, she said, William and Kate calm each other down a lot, their marriage works very well in that way. In the Sussex marriage, they wind each other up and it's us against the world, and that's a disaster. Ms. Brown also went on to say that if Harry and Meghan had remained as working royals, they would have been great assets to the Commonwealth. But she added that they gave up on royal life too soon and explained, they didn't understand that the Queen was giving them this platform for soft power which could have been tremendous if they had done it in a patient and strategic way. Ms. Brown's new book, The Palace Papers is set to be released later this month. The publisher claims it will tell the real story of the royals since Princess Diana's death in 1997, and is full of nuanced details and searing insight. It also adds that the author developed the book from her years of research and intimate access to the royals and will chart the Queen's loosening grip on the firm. Meanwhile, last night it was confirmed that Meghan will embark on her first trip outside of the US since she quit the royal family by travelling with Harry to the Invictus Games in Holland this week. Harry and Meghan will be followed by a Netflix documentary crew throughout the Games, which start on Saturday. The couple's decision to attend the event in The Hague has been blasted by Palace insiders after Harry claimed it was too dangerous to travel to the UK. He is locked in a legal battle with the UK government over a decision to downgrade his security and did not show up at a memorial service for his grandfather, Prince Philip, last month. The royal, who now lives at Montecito, California, with Meghan, 46, and their children Archie, and Lilibet, claimed he wanted to bring them to visit from across the Atlantic, but does not feel safe when visiting under the current security arrangements. Surely, this is just another excuse? Speaking ahead of the Games, which are scheduled to take place in The Hague between April 16 and April 22, the Duke of Sussex, who is also Chief Impact Officer at professional coaching and mental health firm BetterUp, said, at its heart, the Invictus Games is about empowering every single person around the world. It's a worldwide display of resilience, determination, and community for which each of us can draw inspiration. I couldn't think of a better new partner for the Invictus Games Foundation than the mental fitness platform Better Up. The mind is like a muscle, it needs to be honed, trained, rehabbed, and coached. The men and women I served with understand this, the Invictus community knows this, and now the world is beginning to see it too. I'm honored to bring the work we do at Better Up to Invictus and look forward to expanding the support systems that service members and veterans depend on to achieve remarkable feats. His comments come just a day after it was confirmed that Meghan Markle would accompany Harry to the Netherlands.